Howdy folks, and welcome to another one of my weekly vlogs. Uh, I'll start with the um, the overview of my week. It's been a pretty good DDP yoga week. Uh, I'm actually recording this, uh, well actually having just showered, but straight after doing uh, Diamond Cutter. Um, I'm doing that a day late. I did take a rest day yesterday. Um, I pinched my neck up slightly, and it was making moving my left arm not so much fun, uh, which obviously really stops you doing um, Diamond Cutter. Now, it does mean I'm skipping a strength builder for the week, but the advantage of having the, the kind of challenging schedule that I have for myself is that I don't necessarily mind skipping a workout, so I'm okay with it. And um, the, the flip side of that, I think this week I probably did the best uh, below the belt that I've done, uh, completely unmodified, um, getting up into Road Warrior 3, a little bit wobbly on the Road Warrior 3s, but getting there, um, it was a, a pretty good workout, actually got my heart rate up, which is something I, I don't do a lot in below the belt. Um, so, now that I am on to the, um, the Thursday rotation, uh, we'll get on some more of that in a second, um, the next week coming up is the more balance focus week, rather than the more uh, aggressive more muscle building uh, week of the two week rotation I'm doing. Uh, I haven't really had that, all that much opportunity to actually try this week out, so this is going to be a bit of an experiment going forward. Um, it's going to be um, a lot of fun, I think. Um, so, yeah, on the, the, the rotation front, um, next week is actually the last week I am working um, Thursday through Saturday. Um, I actually, whereas I had a, a nice long bit of time off to get myself onto that shift, I now have to work seven, ten hour days in a row to get myself on, back onto the Sunday through Wednesday rotation. Um, so my workouts will be changing again. I'm not going to do another challenge, I don't think, to go into those, because as much as I enjoy doing the challenges... Um, the problem with them was they didn't really feel like doing consistent yoga. I mean, okay, doing Diamond Cutter for five days straight is doing consistent yoga, but it's not doing the routine that I set myself. Um, sorry, I was going to center myself. I got some complaints from the uh, last video, mainly from Susan, um, that I was off to, to the one corner here and there was so much white space here and all you could see was my, uh, my uh, DC comic book covers uh, poster. So I'm going to try and keep myself nice centered now and keep Susan off my back basically um, so yeah I, I have a lot more work days that's going to lead to me doing um, diamond cutter on a day when I work which is not something I usually like to do but we'll, we'll see how it goes I'm not feeling particularly uh, non-confident about it um, today I actually have red hot core to do um, with having the rest day yesterday um, now I've started doing my red hot cores usually with the first workout I do on the day because there is the temptation to just skip it if I wait till um, after work. Uh, not doing that today, A, because I did Diamond Cutter uh, and I want to get a nice, decent run Red Hot Core. Um, B, because uh, I'm not at work today, so I can leave it for a few hours, get a nice bit of recovery back into my belt, and then really work my abs. Um, tomorrow, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do just yet. I think I mean, it should be Double Black Diamond, but I've never done Double Black Diamond coming off a Diamond Cutter before. Um, I think that's still probably what I'm going to do, but I'm going to see how I feel tomorrow and work that one out. Um, so to, to move off the uh, the update and get on to kind of talking um, generally about what I wanted to talk about this week. Um, so I was, I've been feeling kind of, um, what's the word, kind of looking back sort of retrospectively on the DDP yoga I've been doing this week for one reason or another. Uh, the main thing being, um, it's almost a year since I started doing this. Um, January 7th will be um, the year. Um, and uh, probably wondering why I don't wait and talk about this till then. But um, then I'm going to have um, some wonderful day one versus day 365 photos, that kind of thing to put up. Uh, what I really want to talk about today is some of the, the targets I set myself. Um, and I actually had to go and, and find a list of these. Um, and the reason I had to do that is because these, none of these are targets I'm actually still working towards, which is kind of awesome. Um, so one of them was to do a 10 second push up. Um, I can now do a 10 second push up, which is all sorts of awesome. Um, I can't do a 10 second push up as part of a workout yet. I usually uh, plank the one at the end of Diamond Cutter. I can do the 5 second push ups. Um, and as a little kind of tangent on that, it would be great to know when doing the five second push up stopped being uh, a thing or a challenge. Um, it's kind of a, a, a note I'm making for myself. Uh, one of the reasons I'm doing this video, I have to start actually noting when, not only when I complete challenges, but when the things I set up as challenges become easy. 
Um, one of the things I set myself was an unmodified Red Hot Core. Um, now that that was a challenge I set uh, around June. I'm not quite there with that. The uh, the first three sort of crunch exercises, I can do the first two completely unmodified now, um, and I can do everything unmodified bar the third one, which is the kind of bicycle crunch sort of thing. Um, and I can I can unmodify that for like two or three reps, um, but that's all at the moment. Um, but that that one isn't far off. Um, and if I, I'd, I'd been kind of looking back, some of the goals I set myself, um, like uh, doing an unmodified energy, I can do that. Doing an unmodified fat burner, I can do that. Um, unmodified below the belt, I can now do that, and that's apparently not nearly as challenging as it used to be, which is kind of awesome. Um, and it actually, it really made me feel good. And the reason I'm doing this on video rather than just having a, a nice kind of fireworks moment for myself is because... Um, I, I, I'm in the point where working with uh, Strength Builder, working with Stand Up, and to a lesser degree, Double Black Diamond. Uh, and I know I've said this before in these videos, but Double Black Diamond, um, to me personally anyway, if you're modifying it, is easier than Strength Builder by a fairly large amount. Uh, I would say, as far as actual difficulty is concerned, um, Double Black Diamond is on par with Diamond Cutter. It's just longer and slightly different. Um, I would say stand up and strength builder are actually harder workouts. Um, now stand up, I, I'm seeing progress in my balance is certainly getting better. Um, I can now kick up into a headstand and hold the headstand indefinitely. Now that's kicking up from a wall, uh, kicking up onto the wall and then going into the headstand. I'm now working on kicking up without the wall, uh, and once I've done that, I'll then be looking at getting into actually doing a handstand. The day I set myself was Christmas, that's probably not going to happen, but I should have the freestanding headstand by then. Um, so, progress. Um, but um, there are times certainly where I still get frustrating with um, Strength Builder, and what I did was I, I went back and looked at the, um, the blog I wrote when I first started Below the Belt. Um, and there's a bit of a critique of the, the DDP Yoga um, timeline, the, the one in the book, it's really good, but I actually think uh, Below the Belt is put in about two, maybe three weeks early. Um, now, okay, admittedly, I was a much larger guy than um, some people starting this. I wasn't the largest guy by a long shot. Um, and, obviously, the caveat on anything to do with DDP yoga is make it your own. Um, but I was following the book pretty rigidly. I was actually adding more workouts than was in the book. I think I was working out about five maybe six days a week by the time I first did Below the Belt. Um, and I, I found it far too hard and got pretty discouraged. Um, in the end, I, I took to Team DDP about it and I wrote a, a written blog, it was before I started doing the videos, talking about um, the fact that I was going to stop doing it for a while because it was just stressing me out when I came to it in the, um, the workout schedule. Uh, and I left it for a couple of weeks. Um, and I came back and it was still really challenging but it was better and now it's um, one of the easy workouts um, and it's good because I have to kind of remind myself of that when I'm finding strength builder hard and because of the problems I've had with my left hip which is getting a bit better for the record there is time. there are times when um, strength builder really really frustrates me um, and I think what I'm going to do to counter that uh, in the future is go back and read that blog again um, and then remind myself how below the belt feels now. Um, so, yeah, um, I, I'm aware this has been a bit of a meandering blog. Um, there hasn't really been much of a, a topic on this one. Um, oh, a bit of housekeeping. Um, as I am getting no questions from you guys for questions in the blog, because um, you all suck, no, Honestly, I know. I, one of the things that I do know, and I've had a couple of comments on, is I do use Google Plus comments on the blogs. Um, yeah, I know. Sorry, guys. YouTube uses them now as well, so anyone who has a YouTube account can probably now use Google Plus comments. Um, but, yeah, I know it doesn't make it the easiest of things to do to, uh, to put stuff on the blog. I, I've heard that from plenty of people. Um, but because I'm not getting questions, and I, I'm not going to keep um, chasing people, but I'm not going to stop doing the, the plank and talking in it, um, talking in the plank helps me do the plank. Um, I know a lot of people have said it, it, it might make it, make, make it more challenging. It doesn't, as far as I'm concerned. Um, it distracts me from looking at the timer. 
So what I'm going to do starting next week, um, probably, because I didn't record one this week, because I suck. Um, I'm going to start doing a review from the plank. Um, and I'm not going to pick a specific um, topic. It's going to be like a music CD I bought, a movie I went to see, a video game I played recently. Um, it might not even be stuff that's necessarily new. Um, I might um, you know, do stuff that's relevant to Christmas as we come into December, that kind of thing. Um, but it's just... Um, I, I just want to keep doing the, the plank videos. I think they're, um, they're great content to put on here. They're a little bit of fun. They're far easier to uh, sit and watch than this 11 minutes so far video. Um, and uh, I, I'm aware the recipe page um, didn't happen again this week. Now the good news is I have a recipe. Um, I've actually cooked it. I have all the photographs taken. I just need to do a write-up for it. Um, this was uh, a recipe that uh, September sent in um, for a method of cooking chicken, which I'll be putting up. Um, and I actually turned the, the stock from that recipe into probably the nicest soup I've ever tasted. Um, especially given that the whole thing is probably around 200 calories a bowl. Um, so look forward to that. Um, that is what's happening for the next week, and that is all I had for today. Peace, guys. Bye-bye. Okay.